Sixth, if we recognize that discipleship is the process of formation of the whole person, then we can't avoid addressing the ways in which the practices of music form the heart. Disordered musical practices make us love things we shouldn't, while depriving us of opportunities for delight in the best that music can be. The unique nature of music enables it to shape our affections and dispositions with an unparalleled power, and so philosophers and theologians and teachers long believed that the shaping of musical taste was an important part of moral formation. For a host of reasons, the mid-20th century witnessed a remarkable abandonment of the concern to govern musical practices. Um, sometimes even my sympathetic friends are surprised when I say that I'm, I'm not just interested in reforming the music of the church, I'm interested in the church reforming the music that people experience during the rest of the week. And some people say, oh well, how can we, you know, we, they, don't even, they don't want to think about that, that, that actually our perception, our, 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 our musical practices Monday through Saturday would be shaped by the, 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 the instruction that we receive from the church. And yet, for centuries, um, it's interesting, I went back and read, uh, well, recently, Calvin Stapert's book. I may have brought it with me. Uh, I always recommend books. You know, as Peter suggested, I'm, I have the gift of bibliography, so I got the, A New Song for an Old World, Musical Thought in, in the Early Church. I actually thought of making this one of the texts for the class, but didn't do that. A Calvin Stapert's summary of uh, mostly patristic uh, writings about music. And it's interesting that they almost never talk about music for worship. What kind of music we should use in worship never came, comes up. What they're principally addressing is what people are doing with music during the week. Uh, the assumption being that if you do good things with music during the week, um, you won't be tempted to do bad things with music on Sunday. I guess that's part of the assumption. 